So problem 17 of the MIT integration be qualified exam 2016, which is the indefinite integral of e to the power e to the power 2016x plus 6048x. It looks quite intimidating, but believe you me, this is uh, a simple problem. So let's uh, see how we may be able to solve it. So our problem is e to the power e to the power 2016x plus 648x, right? Um, and uh, using the rules of exponents, we can as well just say, okay, this is e to the power e to the power 2016 x and then another e to the power 648 x dx so um, it's easy for me to see that 6048 is is equals to 3 times 2016 right so i could use this to say let u be equal to 2016x such that du dx is equal to 2016 and 1 over 2016 du can be used to substitute of dx. Therefore, our problem e to the power e to the power 2016 x times e to the power 648 6048 x is equals to e to the power e to the power u and then e to the power 3u du and then we are able to bring 2016 out here okay so we have a problem that is 1 over 2016 integral of e to the power e to the power u e to the power 3u du I think I would like to substitute further I would just say let p be equal to this is small p not capital p be equal to e to the power u such that dp du is same as e to the power u meaning that dp over e to the power u is equal to du and since e to the power u is p we can say dp over p can be used to substitute for du and so uh, 1 over 2016 e to the power e to the power u e to the power 3 u du is equals to 1 over 116 e to the power p since this is p and then we have p cubed and in place of du we are going to put dp over p so this cancels and this becomes 2 okay so now our problem has become fairly tractable because now we have p squared times e to the power p. And so we can now use integration by parts, but before we do that, we can express e to the power p as the derivative of it, the power p. Because the derivative of it, the power p, is going to be the same as with the power p. So integration by parts says if you have two functions one is function v the next is derivative of function u when you integrate that you have the product of functions e a u and v minus the product of function u and the derivative of v so from this we see that du is the same as the derivative of e to the power p so our problem one over 2016 uh, p squared e to the power p derivative 
P is the same as 16 over uh, P squared to the power E P minus 100, one, th 1 over 16. The derivative of P squared is 2P and then E P. Okay, so we have 1 over 2016 p squared e to the power p minus 2 over 2016 p e to the power p dp and we can express that again as the derivative of e to the power p so that we now use again integration by parts and we have 2 2016 big bracket we have p e to the power p minus the derivative of p now this becomes e to the power p plus c and the integration of e to the power p is just going to be equal to e to the power p. So we have 1 over 2016 p squared times e to the power p, 2 over 2016 p e to the power p plus 2 over 2016 e to the power p plus the integration constant. Okay. So we have our problem that has given us p squared e to the power p minus 2 over 16 p e to the power p plus 2 over sin e to the power p plus the integration constant. But uh, we did uh, say let p be equal to e to the power u. So um, our problem is, uh, or our answer is e to the power 2u, uh, e to the power e to the power u minus 2 over 16 e to the power u over e to the power e to the power u, this here, plus 2 over 216 e to the power e to the power u plus integration constant um, but we said u equals to 2016x right so meaning that our problem becomes 16 e to the power um, This part becomes 4032x e to the power e to the power 2016x minus 2016 e to the power 216x and then we have e to the power e to the power 216x plus 2 over 216 e to the power e to the power 2016x plus the integration constant. Well, that's the answer, but let's uh, uh, write it a little bit more succinctly. So we, we have our problem. Um, we have 1 over 2016 e to the power 432x e to the power e to the power 216x minus 2 over 2016 and then we have e to the power 2016x and then e to the power e to the power 2016x plus 2 over 2016 e to the power e to the power 2016x plus c we can pull this out 
and so and also this can come out so we have 1 over 2016 and then we have e to the power 432 x minus 2 e to the power 2016 x plus 2 and then we have e to the power 8 to the power 2016 x plus c and so what we are saying here is that our original integral of e to the power e to the power 2016 x plus 6048 x is equals to 1 over 2016 e 4032 x minus 2 e to the power 2016 x plus 2 e to the power e to the power 2016 x plus the integration constant and that ladies and gentlemen is our answer so until next time uh tada and i hope you did enjoy following along